today I'm grinding down our panel here on the top of the quarter panel on the back end of the driver's side of the Carmen Ghia. So we're looking at the driver's uh, the front window there. This is the panel back here. I think I made this on November 6th if you look at the blog. And uh, I've had trouble with the panels flattening out after I grind them. I have a panel over here on the passenger side that I have to take back out because it warped so bad after I grind it, ground it down. So uh, my buddy Pete, my friend Pete, Last Chance Pete from Southwest Fraud and Custom suggested that I stop using my uh, big grinding discs and start using small cutoff wheels to kind of isolate the heat and keep it small and just grind right on top of the welds here. So that's what I'm going to do here for the next few minutes and I'll come back when we're done grinding and we'll see what the panel looks like. Alright, uh, 10 minutes worth of grinding. I've got this little bit here pretty well ground down. This is kind of being worked on uh, and this out here. Uh, I've been able to put my bare hands on the panels at any time and they're nice and cool. I've gone ahead and put my normal disc back in here. I'm going to try and take the same approach of really concentrating uh, just on the weld bead and see what that does for me. If it gets hot at any time, I'm going to swap back to the nice cutoff wheel. Alright, after about an hour's worth of grinding on this, uh, using a combination of my, I think this is a four inch angle grinder, and uh, this little guy here, cutoff wheel. Uh, we've got a pretty damn good fit on the panel. It did not warp, it didn't flatten out. So, Pete over at Southwest Rod and Custom, once again, thanks again for the advice. Uh, for those of you who missed all the blog stuff, this is the piece right here that we replaced. So, nice, smooth panel, butt welded in. This was the panel we replaced, which was actually three panels. Uh, you can see this one out here this one here and this guy here on the other side is is two panels the clown act that did this before me seam welded everything and, or uh, sorry beat the crap out of everything and then welded a seam somewhere down the middle this in here is kind of my favorite chunk I think you can see how deep that ravine is there. There was over half an inch of body filler in there, so that's top-notch job there done by some hack in a body shop somewhere uh, scabbing a couple uh, rear quarters onto this car. All right, here's our panel all cleaned up. Hit it with a DA with 80 grit paper just to smooth everything out and kind of blend everything in. All the welds feel really good. No shrinking happened this time. Thanks to Pete at Southwest Rod and Custom once again for helping me out on the advice using the smaller tools like this guy here and really taking taking your time keeping the panel cool. The other thing I did find on my other grinder here is it has air holes on this side so as I'm grinding I'm trying to keep that down keeping the air flowing on the panel keep it nice and smooth. I'm going to hop over to that side, pull that panel out. Alright, this is a patch I made a month or two ago and everything fit really well and when I welded it in I got in a little bit of a hurry and when I ground it down I got in a big hurry and everything in here kind of warped up. I don't know if you can see any of this but uh, there's kind of big valleys here uh, on the edges of the panel and when you look at it, it just flat out looks like it's going to require a lot of Bondo and it's ripply and, and everything else. So we're going to pull this panel out of here and start over again. I'm starting with a piece of 11 by 17. It's kind of like a cardstock, so it's a little heavier than normal paper. I'm going to uh, trace out my basic area where I want the template, then I'm going to refine it a few times. Okay, here's the template. I've got it trimmed on this edge up here. I've got a line down here that shows me where I'm supposed to fold the metal. 
and then we've got it to size so it covers our panel. So cut a sheet metal blank using this and then we'll get to cutting and folding that blank and then we'll fit the patch up. I on our blank here, what we need to do, so I put this corner down here, fit it in the sheet up there, so we may have to trim a little here and there, whatever, but uh, we'll use our trusty little air nibbler and we'll knock this thing out. Okay, here's our piece cut out from the air nibbler. Got it marked down there where we're going to fold it. This is just kind of an idea. Then I marked our panel here with reference lines where this patch fits in so that as we form it, we can line it up the same every time and make sure that we're putting it back the same way. Studying the panel, we've got a gap here and a gap up there so we can see how this panel moves. We've got to put some crown into it, so I think we're going to use our old going in it, then we might have to use the wheel to stretch this area right up in here, give it a little bit of two-way crown. So we'll see how it goes. All right, using our paper here, I traced the back edge of our deck lid here and cut that out. And then I drew reference marks to line everything up. So I have marks on the car, I have marks here. And then I set the panel over the marks, transferred the marks, put this on the panel, lining up all the lines, transferred that to here, transferred these marks on the side to the back side of the panel, flipped the template over, lined it up with everything, traced it out on the, on the back. Now I'm going to use this template to cut a piece of wood so I can make this curve right here transfer into the sheet metal right here. Here's our form that we cut out using our paper template. I'm going to use a rasp here to smooth everything up. I just cut it with a saber saw because I don't have any fancy woodworking tools. That up and we'll get to bending. This panel has a high enough crown. We can see through it. It's about an eighth of an inch. Uh, we can see where the curve is here. If we try and clamp that down, it's going to flatten out our panel. And when we put the flange in there, it's going to lock that lack of crown into place. What I'm going to do is take this paint stick, which is just about the same thickness. I've marked it out here for length. I'm going to start in the center with it being 100% high. I'm going to carve the sides down to zero. So hopefully we'll be able to make this same crown out of this. We'll clamp the paint stick here and that will keep the crown in our panel as we fold this lip down. Alright, here we have our former paint stick cut to an arc this way. I also matched it up here, cut the arc there. So hopefully uh, all goes well. This piece will fit up under here. I can clamp to it, beat my flange in here. Here we have everything clamped up and we're just going to hammer this on. <laughs> 